Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Adimola Deniji. So today I will continue um, the sessions on um, how to make academic CV. So in the previous sessions, we've tried to discuss about personal information, personal information, as well as the research experience. Also, I try to explain how to include our academic conferences and seminars. So today we will continue on how to include other sections of the CV. So let's follow. Now, the first thing we are going to be doing today is to include is to include our research publication following the same um, approach that we've been using. So now let me put this to 12. So good. Um, I'll be including publication, you can say research publication. So I can say slash um, sample writing. So this is very, very important if you are applying for a PhD position for you to include research publication or your sample writing, because this is a very, very important um, um, characteristics of a potential pitch to students to, to be able to show ability to write because it is very, very important. Now, so we are going to put this here, 12, then we put it in the middle. Here, I can try to include the paragraph spacing. So yeah, okay. Now, how do we approach this? Let me try to copy one of my, <clears throat> here I'll be showing you because I don't really have um, a lot of publication, but yeah, I'm trying to include relevant publication that will hit my application as well as some sample writing in terms of experimental reports, maybe all your report that you've conducted during your, um, during your coursework or stuff like that. So you have to be able to include it. Then you link the report as well. So for instance, in my case, all right, I think for the first one, let me try to copy it here. All right, okay. I already pasted that. Okay, I think I need to put it, paste it very well. Okay, let me put it like this. All right, this should be one, 1 1.0, okay. Now, the next step is to justify, let us justify this. Okay, good. So now we are going to put in the bullet point. Yeah, cool. So now I, I want you to really observe what I've done here. You can see this is my colleague and my colleague's name, as well as my name. So you can see that my name is in is, uh, is in bold. So here yeah, we have to change the, it's very important that we change the font. Yeah, it's Times New Roman, good. And also it is 11. Yeah, I think there's something that is wrong with this. So this should be, this shouldn't be bold. Okay, fine. So I think this is okay. What did I do? This is a sample writing. It is not a research publication. So it is a sample writing from one of my lab reports. So here we have Shreyansh, my name, the date, November 2021. Yeah, the title of our report is this. So yeah, I included a report submitted to Faculty of Science, University of Paris, at France. So yeah, it is very important that you put a link to the report so that the person can actually know what you've been doing, uh, like the content of the report. So yeah, I tried to include, so what I did was to include these to my report. So I think I'll try to show you guys I'll try to show you guys this, um, this is it. So I uploaded the report into my Google Drive. You can see the report, the experimental report that we've conducted. So here I copied this link and after copying then I pasted using the same, the normal trick that we've been using. So I tried to link it. 
So here, instead of using the normal paste, I use link, then paste it here, copy. Link, all right, then, okay, so now, yeah, anyone that is interested in checking the content of these um, reports will, of course, click, click the link to check. So the second, the second, I also have a report as well, a sample writing report that I conducted, an experimental report, so I can just paste it. Then what to do? Let me delete this and also this as well. Okay, I think the link is quite, I already used the link here. Uh, Times New Roman justify this for me. Then it should be in bullet point. Bullet point, cool. Okay, let's justify it again. Justify, yeah. So now the link, I already inserted the link as well. So you can do that also for your reports, for your lab report as well. So now this is like um, one of my publication. So this is for publication, for publication on it and paste this. So this is for publication, all right. So let me change the font, the font style to Times New Roman, then 11, let's be careful of this, 11. What else? Okay, I think it is okay now. Then we put it into bullet point. Yeah. Okay, I think it is good. You can see the list of the author. This is the first author, second. This is mine, my name, and also the last author as well in the date, the title, the name of the journal. So here the I don't know the I think this should be the issue number, the volume. Okay, the issue number the issue number, the volume and the page, and as well as the link. So I link it as well. So lastly, if you have like another publication, you can include it as well. So I think you can include it because, boy, you must be very, very careful that you include um, publication that is relevant to your application. So it is very important. Or maybe in your SOP, you've mentioned that you had, um, you really have a publication so you have to like include the public, uh, publication in your CV. It is very good to do that. So here as well, I can try to like put my name. So the link, so you can follow what we've been doing as well to link your, yeah, I think this is okay. What's the font? Okay. What's the font of this? All right. Okay, I think I can change the color is a bit the minute. Uh, okay, so I think we are oh it changed the color of the link. Okay, so we can just select it because I think the kind the color seems a bit fade. So uh, right here I can change it one after the other, this as well this black i don't know why it is it's like that for me all right okay i think it is okay so the link as well you try to include the link because trying to include the link make your all what you're saying credible or stuff like that so but also probably you do not have any publication maybe you've not published your thesis what you can do is to maybe upload it in your Google Drive, then you put the link so that anybody that is interested in your sample writing can just go to the drive and read, like, and read your previous research and the potential, um, prof your potential professor can actually feel, okay, I think you really have experience in writing. So now the next thing for us to do, what of if you don't really have this, but I think you should, you should be able to like put maybe one or two sample writing. Probably you do not have like four of these. Another section you can try to create in your case should be, I think you can also do that. Even myself, I can do it as well. What you can try to do is to put online course. You can say relevant online course or stuff, or let, let's say online courses online courses slash you can say MOOCs. 
So now these online courses will give you the opportunity to show that, okay, I really want to know more about my field. So it will really give you the opportunity to be able to, oh no, okay. So I think I have to like bring this down a bit. Where it should be, I think maybe like 1.5. Okay, so let's do something like this. I don't know why. Okay, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, let me do something like this paragraph. Then I increase this. Maybe two. Okay. All right, I think we are still going to modify this later. All right. No. So like this bold. All right. Okay. The next thing to do is to include the online course. So how am I going to approach this? To approach this, the first step is to write the title of the online course. Take for instance, like maybe for instance, we are going to let's go to maybe Coursera. Probably you took a particular course from Coursera. So let's say I want to take a course on. Um, fundamental of electrochemistry. Okay. Fundamentals of electrochemistry, or let's say economic um, economics. Let's say something like this. So you go to Coursera, then, then probably you want to, you are taking this particular course. Let me see, maybe. Global master, no, not this. Uh, this is like a master's degree. Okay, let's see one that is really nice. Um, maybe I'm coming. Let me check for one that isn't really. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this. Uh, let me click this again and check. Okay, this, maybe let's check this. Okay, I think this is a bit nice. Microeconomics, so you copy this. Then we try to like paste it. Okay, text only. Then, okay, yeah. So the next step in front of this, you will try to put the date that you use in attending the course, maybe August 2020. Let's say from March. March 2022 to, let's say, um, April 2022. Okay, let's say for instance, probably you already have the online course. So, all right. So now here we have to make sure that we put it in bullet point, bullet point, no. Okay, yeah, this is saying five, but we must uh, make sure that we change it we can change it to like restart number one. Okay, cool. So the next step is to show the like um, course link. So you write something like course link. So this course link, we are going to link it just like what we've been doing. So you copy this, you go back here, copy this, then come here, let's link these uh, course. And yeah, okay, all right. So now we can try to like not put this. Okay, now if you have hand a certificate, you can say certificate, um, certificate. So you can try to include the certificate so you can put a link of the certificate as well. So when you do this, try to like reduce this. This should be one. So that it can, okay, yep. So the next thing you're going to be doing, not, don't just put maybe, uh, okay, I think we should do this. We should do this. I don't know, not, okay, yeah, this is University of uh, Penn, like University of Pennsylvania. So what you can try to do is to put, let's put this beside this, then put the location The location of the online course should be University of Pennsylvania. Let me see the spelling. Pennsylvania. Okay.
USA. So now we can just put that like that. Okay, then we can delete this. Uh, all right, so I think we are, we are in the right direction. So the next thing for us to do is to pull what we've learned. So how are you going to know that? Of course you will know because so how are we going to know that it is about, let's click on show all. Show all we give you about what you're going to learn or the syllabus. So I think the syllabus will expose you to the um to the course outcome or to the learning outcome. So here you are going to learn about what you be or what you are going to gain from the online course. Here, take for instance, there's a particular online course that uh, one minute. Uh, let me put this here. Okay, so here. Like I'm trying to like, okay, let me show you someone, the way someone approach our own. So here yeah, you can see, so I'll try to like delete all this again. So after you've typed this, analyzed and applied, okay, you decrease the spacing to 1.0, okay, maybe, I don't know. All right, okay. One thing we can try to do is to, we can put it into bullet points at first, put it into, I, I don't think if you type it yourself, you should, you should encounter this kind of problem. So we can, okay, yeah, I think it is fixed. So you can see that all these bullet points are really well arranged, very well arranged. So you can see, Using the same method that we've been using right from the start, here yeah, I wrote review the human effect, analyze this. So it is basically what you plan. Probably they gave you some assignment to do or stuff like that, or basically what you've what you've learned. So you must like start with an action verb. So you can also use length the concept of something, or maybe um, analyzed. Probably it involves you to do some assignment and they give you um, stuff to complete. So I think this is very, very important uh, things to use. So if you have another one, let's say you have another online course too, then you, then you write it following this same approach. So you have to use this same approach to show that you really want to learn, you've actually done a lot of things so in this, your line of research. Normally, the online course that you are going to put must be relevant to what you are applying for. It must be relevant to what you are applying for. Don't put maybe certificates, like online certificate that is not relevant to your application. It is just as if you are wasting space in your CV. Put something that is relevant to it. And even though if you do not have, you can still take, there are a lot of also one, uh, one, um, website that you can also analyze is this website, MIT Open Courseware. So this MIT Open Courseware has a lot of online courses. So it might not, it is not necessary that you should have a certificate. It might even be from all MIT online because there's no certificate from here. So you can also say, so you can delete this certificate part. So you can delete this certificate part and put uh, like, yeah, you put the title, course link, you insert the link of the course, then you put uh, MIT, you can just shorten it, MIT USA. So, so stuff like that, you can as well use it, but make sure that it is an online course that is very relevant to your application. All right, to proceed, the next step we are going to be doing, now that we've included our research publication online course, it is very essential because everything is not just academic. So they want to also see that you've been able to do something to your community because um, the, old, the old essence of the graduate school is for you to both gain the teaching experience and as well as the research experience and also to be able to contribute to the development of the research community because 
the research community is not just based on academics. There are other uh, extracurricular activities that also comes with it as well. So now you must also show your extracurricular involvement. So it can even be, it can be some form of teaching, teaching and um, teaching and leadership experience. So you can just put one relevant, like you can just put one relevant um, teaching experience. So it doesn't really have to, yeah, you don't really have to show a lot of information that I've, I really have a lot of experience in terms of leadership and stuff. You don't really have to show that. Though the leadership quality is very, very important in the research lab because you really, really have to deal with, it, with a lot of people from different backgrounds. Probably at the end of the day, you later emerge as like the leader of your research group, maybe someone in which the professor entrusted with the activities in the laboratory. So you really have to have this kind of quality to be able to manage your other uh, colleagues and stuff like that. Um, as well, it's to even show sure that you can relate with diverse people from people from different walks of life. So now from here, I think the next thing to do is to, okay, yeah, yeah, because now there's a way that you can as well show your teaching and leadership experience in just like in just one section. So it is nice that you do it like that because if you create different sections, maybe we've been giving, we've been giving the, um, the restriction that our CV must be two pages. So now if you've been given the restriction that we have to create a two page CV, then you have to be careful with the way you include your information. So now here, in my case, I can try to put, so the first thing you are going to be including here is to include the comp company that you've performed this maybe teaching i think there's a mistake in my teaching yeah so teaching and leadership experience so yeah i can try to include okay nigerian society like i had experience in teaching in, in my department and also on the um, nigerian society of chemical engineers now tech chapter so um yeah i basically I, I basically, okay, moment. let me put the period, period. All right, from October, October 2019 to March 2020. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think what we are what we are doing is to put the okay lapel chapter. So I'll put the location here. The location of the Nigeria. And also here yeah, my responsibility, like my role in the in the society is to say academic stuff. So I can put something like that. So now academic tutor, all right, okay. I think we can try to really reduce the spacing, the spacing to, okay, I think something is currently not right here. Okay. Something is currently not right. Okay, yeah, I think this is back. Okay, so this shouldn't be bold. Okay, now the next thing, just like we've been doing, is to show our responsibility that what we've actually done. So in my case, um, the first thing I, I actually included here is to schedule. Like one of my responsibility is to schedule one. Um, Times New Roman. Okay, I can delete this because this is not the right bullet point. So we click bullet point, good. So now you can see the bullet point is working. All right, the next step is to, at times, okay, also I can try to say, 
one of what one of the responsibility I performed under this rule is to do this. Uh, is this I tutored and mentored chemical engineering sophomores on transport phenomena and separation. Yeah. So I can try to ed edit this, edit, and um, think justify. All right, justify is okay, then bullet point. All right. So the next thing I can also say is this I also tutored and mentored um, faculty of engineering juniors, like that is students in their 400 level. So, yeah, on research methodology. All right, so I can put this in two times in a Roman, then here yeah, should be 12. Then I think uh, not 12, 11. Everything should be 11. 11. Okay, good. So you can just leave these three um, response role that you've performed. As well, you can include another, maybe one of your relevant um, leadership experience. In my case, I was like the um, electoral chairman, electoral chairman. So you can, so I, I wouldn't be putting all these there, electoral chairman. So the same way that we've been using, like, okay, maybe you have a particular um, leadership experience, try to include it, the name of the association, the your role has uh, your role there, maybe your responsibility and also the date, then maybe three to four bullet points explaining what you've done. So I think this is um, very, very essential. So I think now we've really gone a long way in making our academic CV. So yeah, I'm going to be stopping now so as not to make the video a bit long. So I think um, the next video, we are going to conclude uh, how to make our academic CV. So be on the look be on the lookout so just make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel i will be giving out a lot of videos that is really really helpful not just a video but helpful videos so please like and subscribe so thank you